Greetings and salutations. Hello and welcome to Ch the crew episode five. Literally, if I, if I can speak. Um, so it's been only been a short time while we've been away. I've only played a couple of games. I'll take you through them first, and then just uh, this one episode might be a one game episode. But the reason is I just want to talk about tactics a little bit. Um, mixed up my tactics uh, for the last couple of games. Um, we won the three one uh, away to Bradford City, which was a great result. George Cooper, you know, the, our superstar player, um, scored a couple of goals. And Callum Saunders, striker's first goal after coming back from injury, which was nice. Um, I would say that Bradford probably did play better than us. We were we were kind of lucky with our chances. And this was the opposite. We created a ton of chances, didn't put them away. Um, Peter scored an early goal with the end goal. And, uh, we, but we played much better. So... I had a discussion, um, an FM, I think this is a, near the end of FM 15, um, about Shadow Strikers, and I never really used one, and uh, he was sort of advocating them, and I was, I was, it just was came to, when I was looking at building a formation, just sort of came to mind really, and um, so I thought I'd, I'd try one with it, so I wasn't really sure about Shadow Strikers, so I sort of went on the tactics sort of forum, I, I do like to sort of upload and download and, and chat about tactics and stuff um, I do quite enjoy that aspect of it um, and just sort of how people are playing how they're setting up Shadow Striker and the re reason why I quite like the 4-4 four, four bit that we had before um, it seemed to be okay and but I would, the, our strikers weren't attacking so I found this sort of um, good looking this is really sort of good chat about uh, Shadow Strikers and stuff so and this does allow me our superstar youngster George Cooper um, can play Shadow Striker. It's not the best in the world, but I think it's that's how I want to train him. Just you know, it might not be the best option. He's a good left midfielder, um, <coughs> but I want to sort of train, almost have a sort of storyline in the save. In that, that that's where we want him to play as the sort of heart of our team. You know, try and build a team around him. And this would suit him great in the long term, I think. Um, and that allows us to have Dalavalli and Callum Saunders as just sort of rotational players. So we've got two good strikers. Um, you know, especially Dalavalli, he's, he's really decent and stuff. So, And then also that allows us to play Harry Wilson at left midfield. Like, Harry Wilson's an absolute quality player um, we've got on loan. We're just not using him enough because he's, we don't play wingers with this formation. Um, I could even play him in there as a shadow striker, but I wanted to just train him. He's not too far off becoming a winger here, so um, I want him to sort of become a wide midfielder, just a little bit more sort of rounded, um, just to fit him in the team, really. He's not ideal for it, but I want to give him some game time. Um, so that's why he's in there. Um, we've got David Fox still. He's in centre mid um, with Jamal Jones. Uh, James Jones? Jamal? I don't know why I called him Jamal just made him slightly racist um, and yes yeah, so we want to play a sort of controlling pressing formation um, with sort of shorter passing um, sort of keep hold of the door, ball press them higher up like have an offside trap um, and stuff like that really and just sort of try and press the ball a bit more because I've played with them for 20 games now this team and I've, and I've sort of realized well actually they can play a bit more football than maybe I was giving them credit for um, and try and start controlling games rather than just going okay we're 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 favourites to go down so let's counter attack because that's kind of the default th thought pattern. But it's like no, let's try for a few games to sort of take the game by the scruff of its neck. I think the defenders could struggle with the offside trap a little bit, but I want to try it anyway. Um, and if it w if it's working out, then when I can next sign some players, I will try and sort of sign some better players for their position like obviously with an offside trap you want players that can make, have really good position, positioning concentration they've also got to be pacey so they can if they do make a mistake then they can still get back and make a tackle so um, if it, if this works somewhat then that's how maybe I'd spend the summer is looking for those sort of defenders right now if we check out the pace so Ben Nugent um, is 10 pace which is like okay for a centre back, but then it's a little low if you want to play a offside trap. So twelve is sort of um, minimum okay for League One. 
Uh, Dick, who's our sort of backup anyway, he's 11. Um, George Ray is our other one, 10. So yeah, so 10, 10, 11. So they're fine for League One defenders, but maybe not this formation. But we're, we're going to go with it. I want to see if it'll work all round and then look to improve the squad based on it. Um, and also, just the right hand side is playing as a winger, um, just to a bit more attacking. Um, and Cock, uh, Cole Clough is a good attacking midfielder, so it sort of suits him much better to play further up. And that's about it, I think. So we'll sort of jump into a game. I think I'm not sure who we're playing. Colchester in the league. Oh, they're bottom. I didn't do that on purpose. I promise. But let's see if this this is the sort of ideal time to see if we can dominate somebody, which would be nice. Yeah, it's weird. The the game we won, we didn't deserve, and the game we lost, we we fully deserve to win. <laughs> so it's a strange one. But it, I don't know how they used to the tactics there. So. The closing down aspect is they're struggling with and the, and the short passing, so they're both awkward. So um, that's definitely worth bearing in mind that although, although they know the formation, um, other bits I think are going to. So we're going to switch to Mac Tactics now, give them a bit more time on it so they can get up to speed quicker. And then I think if we're going to go control, let's do attacking, I think. Yeah. Let's do it. Um, but I will spend a bit more time just uh, match tactics just to bring them up to speed with it. They're not too far off, but just uh, like, we saw, like we saw a couple of areas where it could be improved. Right. Okay, well it's ninth against bottom. How, b how badly bottom are they? Yeah, it's quite bad. Two wins out of 17. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not, not pretty. But we're doing okay. We're we're um, 27 points. We're three outside the playoffs for a relegation favourite team. It's not too bad at all. A sip of tea for yuck for luck even yuck. And we are off. So yeah, just a short little episode. I thought a quick catch up. Um, I normally play a few more games offline before I f record a YouTube video, but I thought I'd just sort of show you the changes. Um, the, the forum I mentioned is just the, the official SI forums. They don't go too mad. Like some of the posts are crazy about tactics. I, I can't. I'm not interested to go that deep. Um, but it's interesting seeing some of the chat and seeing, seeing people's ideas, and I quite like using that aspect. Um, you know, I'm not averse. I'm not one of those. I'm not a snob. I have and I do download tactics, um, but I, it's kind of one of those things. I'll, I'll do sort of half, half, really, half of my own, half, um, probably less than that, maybe sort of 25% downloaded tactics. But what I'll tend to do is download a tactic, but don't use that as a tactic. Go, okay, this is the tactic I'll try that I've downloaded, and okay, some aspects are working. Some of it might not suit your team because a lot of them aren't sort of too plug and play. So make your own tweaks to it, and then it sort of slowly evolves into becoming sometimes often quite something quite different to what you started out with. Um, yeah. So, uh, but a lot of the times I might just look at a chat about a particular position, such as shadow striker, sort of learning a bit more about those roles that I don't really use, and sort of somebody will give examples of how best sort of to set up that shadow striker for different sort of things, and that sort of discussions um, interesting. Like my Fulham save, which is not a YouTube save, it's just kind of my personal save. I just sort of downloaded the, you know, there's no super tactic, obviously, especially not yet, but just downloading a decent a tactic people were saying that was good. And I even um, looked at shortlists, you know, like all Wonder Kids, and thought, I'll pick up a few players just for the Fulham team. And it's kind of almost my vegging save when I just wanted to click a few buttons and watch a few matches and stuff, and I've got a couple of the... and just see how these prospects go, uh, using a downloaded tactic, and it's just, you know, a, just a different thing. But it's more of a chill-out game, because you're relying more on, you know, the tactic saving your ass and the super-duper players that you bring in. But it's just kind of a veg tactic uh veg for save <laughs> when i don't want to record videos so but i will i i um i don't use if you've watched any of my other videos on my saves my youtube save so far unless i say otherwise the way i work is <coughs> i won't use like wonder kids that i know about i like some 
you know, Swedish second division kid that's supposed to be an amazing goalkeeper that's six foot twelve. Six foot twelve, that's seven foot, isn't it? He's seven foot four, let's say, and he's you know, the next Manuel Neuer or something that you can sign for twenty grand. Um I'm not gonna know about that guy. I kinda of try to play it sort of semi realistic and go, look, you know, I'm not gonna if I if my sky, scout randomly picks one out while I'm on assignment, yeah, hell yeah, I'd sell him. Uh, I'd buy him. Even if that player, oh, I've actually heard of this guy, but, you know, through on a forum or something like that. So what I'll do is go, well, you know, I've still found him, so that he's sort of, he's allowed. Oh, oh, so no. Not even can it, looking at the game at all now. I've just gone on massive waffle mode. But the philosophy is a football manager. Yeah, so we'll wander down. When did that happen? But it's just kind of how I like to say. So if I sort of do do other saves on YouTube that I, I am using, say, shortlists or something like that, I'll say, look, hey, shortlist. I'm not going to sort of hide those facts. Hmm, okay, the domination. Okay, we've got possession. Uh, that's about it. Well, win, look at that. And again, pick it up. Better. Plays out to the right. Colclough, is he going to attack him? It looks like he wants to. Oh, he's gone down. No. <laughs> Rev's not believing that. Marvin Sordell. It's a good ball. Oh, the offside trap. See the pace. Garrett's actually had a couple of good games, which is great after his. Uh, What's the opposite of heroics? Fuck ups <laughs> in the cup game. Watch that video if you haven't seen it. It's horrible and funny. But he's done alright. He's had a couple of good games. He's bounced back. That's all you can ask. So we've had four chances each. We've not even created one clear cut yet, and they've had two. The end of the game, I won. I think I gave away six or seven clear cut chances. <laughs> you got to put them away, though, mate. Come on, get this away. Right, break, break. Oh, you don't need to head that. You had so much time. Fucking hell. Here we go. Wilson in the corner. He's going to whip one in. Oh, it's gone back post. Hoofed clear. Oh, we're going to pick it up, though. Okay, Bailey. What are you going to do, son? Play it to the middle. That's it. Just don't do anything silly. And again, lovely. Yeah, see, this is lovely. Good. Yeah, three ball. Come on. Oh, that deserved to be a goal. That was a lovely build up. Nice though. That was a clear cut and a half. Should have, should have just dinked it over the keeper. That would have been nice. Colclough is knackered at half time. We'll see if he's recovered any in half time. 63. That's not very good at all. Give the fans their money worth, you bastards. So we've got Brian Inman, who's just coming back from injury. Good sort of all-round player. He's great to have on the bench. Um, I've got faith. Um, yeah. They always love a bit of faith. Right, here we go, boys. Second half, come on. We just picked it up a bit there. Good chance at the end. Is this going to be an actual proper highlight? It might well be. Oh, it could have been. I thought it was just a kick-off highlight. Hope Hinman does well. Jones? No. Cooper, go on. Any little cheeky three balls? Play it wide, play it wide. Tons of space, alright. It's middle there. That's space as well. Dinks it over the top. <coughs> Wilson plays it in. Dalla Valley! Is he onside? I think he is. I think he is. Get in there! See Wilson there. Nice. It's better, in it, boys? Playing well, look at that lovely pass over the top. Wilson with a great little ball in. I feel like the keeper can maybe. No, the keeper would have struggled to get there. We need to get a striker scoring, so it's a good sign that Dalavalle's got a goal. Ok, 
Come on, boys. We've got another one in us, definitely. So if we let, let in any late goals with this uh, formation, that was another problem with the last one. It was just just uh, near the end of games. We were just knackered. Don't know whether it's just like just a natural. Oh, that's oh, that's a. Oh, I hate those sort of goals where it's like a good sliding tackle, and it just falls to their feet. Um, give Adam King some game time. Come on, boys. The bottom of the league, man. They've got two wins in 19. Two. This is embarrassing. Oh, it's a great tackle. Look at the pass, though, that it did. <laughs> Just did the world's greatest through balls, a slide tackle. Yeah, so hopefully no late goals with this formation. This uh, for us would be uh, nice about now, please. Push forward, push forward. As it's a new tactic, I haven't really sort of sorted out a sort of defensive version or a more attacking version of it. <coughs> Which I'll do on once I'm settled. I'm happy with the tactic, and then I'll sort of faff about and maybe make some changes if I want to go defensive, like trying to hold a lead or something. Well, that was a shit result, boys. Oh, they've had a they've had a mare there, haven't they? <laughs> That's his hat trick, ninety second minute. <laughs> late goals, late goals. Watch, fuck's sake. Two, I was bad enough. Look at that pass. Look at this pass there. Oh, he's just not putting any. He's not put any power on that pass, has he, Nugent? And he's, just, he's got his arms out like the goalkeeper should have picked it up. Oh, that's dreadful. Gareth's involved in some rickets here. That wasn't so much his fault. That's the centre back all day long. But he still seems to be involved in these in these rickets. <sighs> Dear oh dear. Um, yeah, disappointing, I agree. Oh, that was awful. That's okay, it's okay. Just think of where we are. So Cooper, look, he's the scouts are loving him, look. He looks quite smug though. We've had a few issues with him, but I'm hoping the worst is behind us. He wanted to leave and then he wanted a pay rise, but both of those things he's got over and said, Look, he's he's happy to stay now. So it's gonna come up again. It, as soon as we get to January, I think Aston Villa, who have been sitting the major interest for the last sort of couple of months, um, yeah. So I just can't offer him a new contract because I don't have the budget. Um, I got two K, but he's he's what does he eat on? Um, I wonder if we can. I don't offer him a new contract if I can't. Let's try. We can afford it because we did balance some off the books. So let's give him a new nice contract. Okay, he's fixed it at three years. So always look out for the minimum fee release clause and put it at something stupid. You have to pay him a little bit more to keep them happy with that. But I hate it. I hate <laughs> release clauses that you think, oh, he's doing well. And then you get sold for 2.4 million. The wage isn't bad at all. One one five is perfectly fine. I'll give you a little cheeky bit more on the appearance fee. I like to give decent bu goal bonuses out as a sort of um, hopes that he scores a few more if he wants the monies. We're locking that in because he's going to keep changing it if he wants. Okay, so he was on one point six a week. Um, release calls are one point one. He's happy with twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have that, buddy. You deserve it. You deserve it. We've come through some difficult times together. And that is where I shall leave the episode. So thank you very much for joining me, guys. I will see you on the next episode. Check out my lead squad. Just going to upload a couple more of those videos. Um, and that's about it. I will see you soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.